Uh, the way they, their three-two zone shifted, um, I thought we took advantage of a few, a few uh, deals in there. Where uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't want to tell you all my secrets. But <laughs> just the way their zone shifted, I knew there was going to be some openings in there if we had some cuts made that weren't made before. Once those threes did start to go down, how, how dangerous are you guys to guard? Um, I don't know. We're we're pretty good once some threes go inside because it's hard for people to match up with. Uh, our size inside because I mean you could take I think you can take Jess away or you can take Frederick away but it's hard to take both of them away and the three-point arc so um, you know it's just great that they they're willing to play together and make that extra pass nobody's worried about who puts points in the in the scorebook it's who puts points on the board so you know we just want to play together and I thought we did a good job of that tonight I asked Jess this question but and I, I think I know the answer to this but does this ever get old oh no it never gets old that was my first First uh, line when I came in the locker room, uh, all the girls were sitting there. They're real quiet. They came in and I said, "Winning never gets old," and they they started screaming. So no, um, you know, as hard as they work and as hard as we prepare, it's great to see them get rewarded with the W. Did you have to talk at all about avoiding a situation like last year where you got away from your play a little bit and it ended up getting a little you know, touchy um, at the end? We didn't in the last few days, but before the state tournament, we did talk about being relaxed and just playing basketball like we have all year instead of going back to, you know, instead of playing not to lose, play to win. Sure. Okay, and we, I think we did a good job of doing that. Absolutely.